Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, welcome back uh, to the to this topic, which was the confirmation analysis of substituted cyclohexane systems. Remember, last time uh, we have seen uh, the energy variation in a cyclohexane system. Cyclohexane, just to repeat, cyclohexane exists in the mainly in the chair conformation, and there are again extreme conformations like which is the boat conformation that was told by Saxe and Moore, but then it was realized that this boat conformation is not a conformer. What is a conformer is a is what is called a twist boat. Okay. But in most of the cases it is the chair conformation which is the predominant form. So, in our discussion this boat or twist boat will come very rarely. Now, we also have seen that what is the energy, how to calculate the energy of the boat form over a anti butane unit. The anti butane unit is regarded as the zero point energy and the starting point and then from above that if something is unstable than that, then you calculate try to calculate the energy on the basis of what are called the butane interactions. Butane interactions can be of three types, anti butane interactions is regarded as zero there is because the two methyls are just exactly opposite to each other. So, there was no torsional strain and there was no steric strain. So, nothing is there. So, it is regarded as the zero point energy. Now, as the diodal angle decreases, then they increase the there will be increase in energy okay. and accordingly we have identified uh, methyl hydrogen eclipsing interactions, then methyl uh, then gauche butane interactions where the two methyls having a diodal angle of 60 degree. Okay. Gauche butane is is unstable to with respect to anti by an amount of 0.9 kilocalorie per mole. And based on that, uh, we have regarded cyclohexane as consisting of as consisting of four butane unit uh, six butane units, one, two, three, four, and then two, three, four, five, then three, four, five, six then 4, 5, 6, 1, 5, 6, 5, 6, 1, 2 and then 6, 6, 1, 2, 3 okay. and then after that you come back to that 1, 2, 3, 4. So, these are the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 butane units that you can think of present in a cyclohexane and these all these 6 butane units are in the Gauche form that I have told you. So, that becomes an energy of 5.4 kilocalorie per mole. Okay. And then the boat form as I shown in the boat form there are on the contrary 4 butane units which are in the Gauche conformation and there are 2 butane units which are in the eclipse form. So, the eclipse form has higher energy than the, uh, than the Gauche form. So, 2 eclipse forms adds quite a large amount of energy and along with that there is another kind of interaction present in the boat form and that is the interactions between this flat pool hydrogen. So, that makes the boat unstable. I think we have covered this thing. Then we went to the conformation analysis of uh, we went to the conformation analysis of di substituted cyclohexane. Now, in di substituted cyclohexane the first one that we we have covered the first one was that you have a R 1 and you have R 2. Okay. So, disociative substituted cyclohexane exists in the chair form, but by inversion you can get the other chair form and what is the difference between these two? R 1 see in inversion again in, in flipping uh, you should remember in flipping the axial becomes equatorial, equatorial becomes axial, but the alpha beta nature remain the same. So, this is the situation R 1 R 2 R 1 has become 
equatorial. Now, which one will predominate that will depend on the size of R 1 and R 2. The rule of thumb says that the bigger group always occupies the, the rule of thumb says that bigger group occupies the equatorial position. In order to avoid the interaction which is called 1 3 diaxial interaction with the axial group. Okay. So, if the bigger the group this interaction will be uh, will be more. However, I gave you an example you should when you go through this uh, presentation you will see that this in case of R 1 equal to methyl and R 1 equal to phenyl it is the phenyl it is the phenyl that preferentially occupies the occupies the axial position and I had given you the reason for that. Okay. The next is the substitution there is not 1 1 substitution substitution which are 1 2 and I quickly go through what we have done we have we have done the see the way to do it first you draw a planar formula a planar formula where there is a methyl here suppose we take 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane. One to dimethyl cyclohexane. So there will be a methyl because now we have the possibility of cis and trans isomerism. How? Because this methyl can be beta, and the other methyl also can be beta. There is another isomer where one methyl is alpha and the other methyl is beta. Okay. So when we did this, this analysis was done last time. When we did this, this methyl See how to do it? Now, you convert it into the chair, you write the chair form. Suppose, this is your number 1 carbon, this is number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this will be your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, let us see. At 1, you have a beta methyl group. To, so, to make the beta group, you have to make it axial. I think with practice, you will be immediately, it, you can, um, it will be easier for you to write this. So, how do I do it? I know that the axial group here is beta and I require the beta methyl. So, I put the axial, the methyl has to be axial here. At 2 position, again the methyl is beta and the 2 bonds, amongst the 2 bonds, the equatorial bond is beta. So, I have to put the methyl in the beta position. Okay. So, this is hydrogen, that is hydrogen. Then what I did? I said that okay, you can flip it and if you flip, what will happen? This methyl will be here that is the number 1 methyl and this methyl will now be on this side. Okay. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then an interesting thing came, an interesting concept. The interesting thing about these two molecules, two flip forms is that this is the mirror image, their relationship between these two are mirror images. Now, I gave you a mnemonic device to compare this and that. Remember that I gave you a mnemonic device which was that you go from uh, you pick up a particular uh, direction that I will go from an axial methyl group to an equatorial methyl group okay, while traversing the entire cyclohexane molecule. While doing that axial to equatorial I do for both the molecules and then I see what will be my beta alpha relationship and what is the direction that I take. So, beta alpha relationship is beta, you are going to beta to a beta, no problem, but the direction you see ultimately the direction is a clockwise direction. Here you will do the same thing uh, axial to equatorial, now you have beta to beta, beta axial to beta equatorial, but the direction you see is now anti clockwise. So, if I, I say that this is always same because that is fixed prefixed by you. The other two parameters, if both the parameters are same, then the three, then the systems, two systems are same. If one parameter is different, then they are mirror images of each other. If both the parameters are different here, then again they are back to the same molecule. Okay. Now, <coughs> this is a mnemonic device. You can say that, sir, why can't we 
why can't we in other ways just to show that this is the mirror image of the other why can't we rotate this molecule and try to bring it to the similar looking molecule ok. So, today I will do that see when you have a chair form when you have a chair form like this suppose this is my the head carbon and this is the So, this is my chair the starting chair is this if you can see it. So, this will be my head the, bot, the, the head of the chair and this is the leg of the chair ok. Now, this has got a C 3 axis around this. So, if I rotate the molecule by C 3 if you rotate the molecule by 6 by 60 degree you see earlier the chair was the head of the chair was on this side and the leg bottom of the chair was on this side. Now, the head of the chair is here and the bottom of the chair is here. So, by 60 degree rotation you have changed the appearance of the chair form. Now, if you do another rotation that means 120 degree you see I come back to the the head on the on the tops on this side right side and leg on the and the leg on the left side ok. So, you do it constantly. So, the chair if you do, do 60 degree chair constantly goes from one form to its mirror image form. So, basically what I am saying that if you have a chair like this ok this is really conceptual if you have a chair like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if I start rotating it into the clockwise direction suppose I do it in around 60 degree then the chair will not look like this the chair will look like this mirror image chair the question is which group has gone where ok. So, now see one can never be one can never be uh, at the bottom carbon right one is always 1 3 5 where at the at the top carbon ok. So, what happens here now you have pushed the whole thing 60 degree. So, you have 5 here and this is your 6 and this is your 1. So, this is the these are the positions. So, 1 will come at this position and I will just again explain it how to how to completely visualize it ok. So, initially when you have started your 1 was the head and 4 was the tail of the chair or leg of the chair whatever leg of the chair ok. 1 head 4 L. Now, what you have 3 head and 6 leg 3 at the top head of the chair and 6 at the leg of at the uh, 3 at the top of the chair 6 at the leg of the chair ok. Now, if you do another 60 degree rotation the chair should look like the original question is which one is where which carbon is where. So, you have rotated it now you have just again rotated it by 60 degree. So, what will happen now? Now, the now your 5 see earlier what happens 1 was at the top. So, next was 3 at the top. Now, the third time it will be 5 at the top because these are the 3 top groups 5 and then this is the 6th group this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Hopefully, this is ok. So, when you rotate it by 60 degree then what happens 5 goes to the head of the chair and 2 goes to the leg of the chair. So, now it is 5 head and 2 leg ok C 2 at the leg position. So, this way it happens means this is um, the way. So, 1 and 4 were the head and the leg then it was 3 and 6 and finally, so this keeps on jumping by 2 units 1 3 5 the head and the leg also 4 6 2 ok. So, you can do it like this and complete the rotation ok. You see the complicacy that is why I gave you the mnemonic device, but you should also understand the basics of it the if you rotate it. So, if I start rotating this now the same thing suppose I I rotate this by 60 degree. So, what was uh, 60 degrees the chair will chair will form this form take this form 
okay, the mirror image form and where will be 6 now? The 6 will be still here and 1 will be here, 2 will be there, 3 will be here, 4 will be here, 5 will be there. Okay. So, 1 equatorial is this and 2 axial is this. Are, so, now look at these two, are they mirror images of each other? No, not yet because this chair is not the mirror image of this chair, they have, they have the same chair. So, in order to do that, you again turn it. So, this was turned by 60 degree. So, now you turn it by another 60 degree. So, what will happen? The chair will take a form which will look like this. Now, which will be the bottom carbon now? The bottom carbon is the is the 5 here. The bottom carbon is the 5. Okay. So, 5 then this is uh, which, which one will be the top carbon? The top carbon will be the 2 carbon and this is the 1 carbon. Okay. So, as I said earlier it was 3 6 3 now it will be 5 2 system. So, 5 2 is there and then you put the groups. So, at 1 there is the methyl and 2 there is the methyl. Okay. So, now you see the relationship between these two. This is exactly the mirror image of that. Okay. But you have to come all the way after rotating this. Now, it is up to you whether you use the mnemonic system or if you look at the uh, by rotation you can come out to the same conclusion that by flipping you get the mirror image of the original form. So, what I said the, that day that this molecule cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane exists as a non resolvable DL pair. It is chiral but it exists as a non resolvable DL pair. Why? Because this is the moment you try to isolate this 50 percent of it will go to this form because these two forms are mirror images and they have the same energy. Okay. So, and, and because this is done by flipping, flipping is, is always going on at room temperature. So, it will not be possible to separate under ambient conditions. Okay. Again the question comes if you lower the temperature to a very low temperature to a very low condition then possibly they may this flipping you can slow down. So, if you can slow down flip flipping then it is possible to separate them otherwise under normal conditions they are not separable because this flipping is continuously happening. So, these cases are called these are non resolvable DL pair systems another terminology you can you can introduce non resolvable DL pair systems or you can call it conformational enantiomers. They are conformational enantiomers. So, usually what happens the enantiomers that we know to go from one enantiomer to the other you, you have to break a bond by rotation you cannot go from one to the other, but here these are these are these enantiomers they are enantiomers definitely, but they cannot be resolved. Why? because one goes to the other simply by rotation by flipping and that is why they are called conformational enantiomers. Okay. So, we have uh, seen that now how to how to rotate and get to the original position in case of 1 3 system 1 3 system means okay first draw the draw the planar structure so this is methyl mm -hmm. suppose i i want the cis compound this is methyl okay so in 1 3 system this is again this has to be put in the this is 1 2 3 because both are beta so this is beta and this is beta so, this is one conformation, but looks to be very unstable because both the methyls are in the axial position. So, you have lot of interactions now between methyl methyl which is huge which is a very high amount, then you have methyl hydrogen and then this methyl hydrogen. So, this will be really unstable and what it flips into the flip form is, is, is quite stable. This carbon comes here, so that will be here. So, that is your 1, 2, 3. So, this carbon comes here and this carbon is at the 3 position. So, that will be there. 
So, there will be there will be a huge difference in the population between this and that. The molecule mostly exists in this form because this is so unstable. Okay. You can calculate like the earlier one, you can calculate the energies that are associated uh, with these systems. Like you calculate the methyl as the axial, so that introduces two gauche butane interactions. So, this methyl puts two, this axial methyl puts two gauche butane interactions. In addition, you have this methyl methyl, which has to be counted here, methyl methyl. Okay. So, that gives it a, a much higher energy than this form. What about the optical activity? The optical activity, you do not have to draw that, the way to do it, either you if you see any uh, plane of symmetry or center of symmetry, those type of elements, then you can immediately say it is optically inactive. Okay. Uh, which is you can see that if you bisect this, so this becomes a plane of symmetry. This becomes a plane of symmetry. Interestingly, that plane of symmetry is also <laughs> visible in the planar form. That plane of symmetry is visible in the planar form. Okay. So, this molecule is optically inactive. So, no question of checking the optical activity, optically inactive. Okay. Now, the next one is the, the trans isomer. The next one is the trans isomer. So, you make one of the methyl yeah, as the alpha. So, immediately this is gone, right? This plane of symmetry is gone. So, you write the conformation. So, this is beta, this is the methyl 1, and this is 2, this is 3. So, 3 is alpha. So, methyl is here hydrogen, hydrogen. So, now this is a this is an interesting situation, more interesting than the uh, than the cis one, the trans one. Now you can flip, and they will have the same energy in the trans one because in both the cases, one will be axial, and the other will be equatorial. So if we flip, this methyl becomes beta equatorial, and this methyl becomes at the three that becomes beta axial. Okay. Now the question is by flipping what we get? There is no energy difference between the two. So, in the system, we expect that there will be 50 50 mixture of these two, provided they are different. Because there is a possibility that they are same. Okay. Now, to check whether this is same as this or this is mirror image than that, remember your cis 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane flipping gives the mirror image and that makes it a non resolvable DL pair. So, it is the same thing happening in trans. In, in trans 1 3, that is the question. Trans 1 3, what is the optical activity? Does it remain as a DL pair, which is separable or non resolvable? So, in order to know that, you have to know the, you have to decide the, the similarity between this and that. Now, it is up to you what you have to do. The mnemonic device you can, you can apply. So, if you apply the mnemonic device, now what is happening? Suppose I go to axial to equatorial, the same, same one that I did for the, for the cis one two. So axial to equatorial. That means I am going from here to there. Okay. So then I check the alpha beta. Where is the alpha beta? The axial to equatorial. This is beta. So I go from a beta to a alpha. And in this case, what I do? Beta to alpha. I am going from axial to equatorial. I go from alpha to beta. A change. Okay. And the third one, third one is the direction that I I did from I I did go from here to there, so that was clockwise, and I went from there to there, so that is anti-clockwise. Basically, I am traversing the whole chair system through the shortest possible path. Shortest means the the shortest connectivity between the substituents. Okay, so that is anti. So, now again you check these three parameters, this is always identical because that is your prefixed, you have decided to take it from axial to equatorial, you could have done the other way around equatorial to axial, but then you have to do for both. Okay. So, this was same, I have fixed it. Now, you see these two both are different. I told you in this mnemonic device, if one is different then that becomes mirror image of each other. If two are same, then that they are same. If two are different, then also they are same. 
okay, then also they are same. A very interesting thing that you can say is that how they are same. I can tell you that if you if you change your reference plane, see this alpha beta is basically based on the reference plane that these uh, these average plane of cyclohexane based on the average plane of the cyclohexane. So, what you do here if I change my reference plane that I I think that this the down the down because I am I am my uh, my direction is from the top that means, I am looking from this position thinking that any group which is uh, below this plane becomes beta and any groups which are above which are towards me they are alpha they are. So, my reference plane I have just changed because I myself have changed it is the other world that um, we have a vertical world like this. So, it is the other world that I am looking from the top and I change the all the references now the groups which are away from the plane going going bottom are the beta and those which are lower than that bot, uh, plane will be alpha. So, if I do that if I look from that and change my reference things axial remains as axial equatorial remains as axial and the problem is the alpha beta. Now, the alpha becomes beta according to the new convention that the lower groups are beta and this becomes uh, alpha because my reference is now just the reverse. I say that all the down groups are beta up groups are alpha then if I do that. So, beta becomes alpha alpha becomes beta and the direction was earlier anti. So, now the direction will become clockwise because I am looking from the top as I said any direction looking from this looks looks clockwise, but if somebody looks the same from the top it becomes the other way around anti clockwise. So, now it will be clockwise. So, you see now the three parameters are same. So, without going into the complexity what I said that if you see the two parameters of these are same then all the three are same basically then the two things are same. If one of the parameter is different alpha beta or anti direction then they are mirror images of each other. If both are different then they come back to the similarity issue okay, they become similar. So, in this case what about ultimately what is the conclusion that these two are same molecules. So, flipping here does not give the same molecule. So, then you take the mirror image. So, at least it, it next question is whether it is chiral or not. So, you take the mirror image uh, not this way suppose I take the mirror image this way. So, I get this the methyl is here and this methyl is here apply your mnemonic device that I have given you. Now, whether this mirror image is same with this what you do you go from axial to equatorial axial to equatorial then it goes from beta to alpha and the direction is anti clockwise. So, direction is anti clockwise hmm. ok. So, here I have already erased those things here it was axial to equatorial beta to alpha and this is beta to alpha and this was uh, beta to alpha that was clockwise ok. And this flip form now you forget because this is the same as that one the question is between these two. So, if you now check the relationship between these two what you are saying this is identical this is identical only this is different from this. So, they are non superimposable mirror images. So, what does it mean? That means, these are optically active. Now, the question is can you separate them? Yes, they are separable because here unlike the situation in cis 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane here flipping does not give the mirror image here this by flipping it goes to itself and this mirror image also by flipping mirror image has, has also the ability of flipping mirror image by flipping also will will remain in the as the mirror image ok. So, these two are separate entities these two are not and here the flip form of this and the then the and the original one of the mirror image they are not ok. They are, they are these are same 
these are same, but these and these are not same. Okay. So, now the final conclusion is cis 1 to dimethyl non resolvable DL pair. and trans 1 3 dimethyl dissolvable DL pair. Okay. And I hope you have understood what is the basis of this. Okay. So, to check all this chirality in these systems you have to flip and you have to check the mirror image and see the similarity between all these three systems then you can come to a conclusion. Okay. Thank you.